me, hot rodding is supposed to be, I have no money, but I would like a car. I mean, I have a, a car in my garage. I don't think most people would classify it as a hot rod, but I think it is. It was built by a 17 year old kid in 1931. His name was Bob Shotwell. And he wanted a car. And he and his dad went to the junkyard and they bought some sheet metal and some Model A fenders and an engine from an Indian four cylinder motorcycle. And he built this three wheel car with some real clever engineering in it. And he and his brother drove from Minnesota to Alaska to San Diego and back to Minnesota, all at the height of the Depression. And he kept a diary of all the people who gave him food along the way and the, you know, the breakdowns and all this kind of stuff. But it's a real hot rod. It's a homemade automobile made by a couple of kids that had no money. Hot riding should be whatever it is you say it is. Whatever it is with your ingenuity, it, it should be ingenuity, skill, and money last. You know, to me, I love when I go to a hot rod show and I see a Model T four banger that the guys made his own overhead valve conversion for just went to all this trouble. Because mm. it was all machine work. It's all, it's all machine work. You could have put a big Chevy 6 in there and had twice the horsepower. The fact that you've worked with something and, and kept refining it and trying to get it better and faster. I mean, to me, that's what makes it interesting. When all hot rods look the same, they're not hot rods anymore. They're just like replicas. You know? I mean, to me, this is a nice, honest hot rod. You can see, this is what the guy had lying around, and that's what I used, you know? Piece of a kitchen sink, oh, you know what that is? That's from a kitchen sink. Oh, isn't that clever? You know, that's what I like. I like when people are, can adapt things. I just buy parts and stick them on, and then, you know, we've gotten this sort of thing in our heads that all this European stuff is so much better and everything. But Max Butowski took a 401 Buick nail head, small tiny valves, stuck it in a 32 Ford, went road racing and beat the Maserati bird cages and the Ferraris and everybody with this thing. It was called Old Yella mm. and it was a hot rod. I yeah, mean. Yeah, absolutely. And, and it was great. I mean, the idea that with a tenth of the money, you beat the rich guy. And that's always the American story. I mean, what movie, every movie is about, you know, the rich guy comes in with the trailer and then the kid shows up with his homemade hot rod, you know, and, they, and the, the, the dog with the one eye and, you know, the whole bit. You know, I mean, it's hilarious. I mean, that's sort of the American story. That's what I love.